In this video, we're going to continue breaking down the five wide mini scheme that I think you're going to have a lot of fun with here in Madden 21. I honestly think that this is going to transition very well to Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now, I have been working on this five wide receiver trip scheme for about a week and a half now, and I've been having a lot of fun with this. This is a very simple scheme that you can learn in about a day or two, and it's really just a lot of fun. And so I wanted to kind of break it down here in a couple of different videos on YouTube, and I want to talk specifically about our base plays. So um, we're going to be talking about the inside switch in today's video. Now, real quick, your audibles, the ones that I recommend are curl flats, smash, levels, and hitches. Those are the five that I like. You could also insert four verticals or wide receiver screen, uh, screen or slants or something like um, the the cool part about this play or this formation is pretty much every single play can be utilized. Every single play has a lot of power and a lot of potential and so anyways but the best play and the play that i think you're going to have the most fun with is inside switch from five water super trips this is very similar to the inside switch out of the gun bunch tight end with a couple of little differences and the biggest difference being the type of post route that that outside receiver is on and so we always want to run this with our trips to the wide side of the field at least 99.9 percent .9 of the time and so I'm just telling you that because if we're on the left hash, we would just flip this play. But what you're going to look at when we show the play art here is you're going to notice that this um, this post route to Mike Evans, if we just snap the ball and just kind of watch what's going to happen here, you're going to see that what I love about this post route is it runs all the way to the sideline. You see that it does not stop running. That is the huge, huge deal uh, to me. It's a sharp post route that does not stop running. It doesn't stop in the middle of the field. And so if the play breaks down, you're going to be able to hit that post route on the sideline. And so what we are going to do now is we're going to basically develop a route combination that you can use from this passing concept to pretty much be able to beat any defense that you're going to face. Okay, so what I like to do from this, and you can do a lot of different things from this play. You can do a lot of different things with motion and with just route rerouting and all of this stuff. But I honestly like to keep it really, really, really simple. So what I'm going to do on this backside is I'm going to run a flat route to the R1 receiver, and then I'm going to run a slant route. Now, if you don't want, if you don't want to run a slant route, you can also run a little dig. But I like the little quick slant to the short side. I love slants uh, to the short side of the field, especially out of like a five wide set like this, because if they're usering like I think they're going to out of this, they're going to be putting their user right in this little pocket right here. And so you're gonna force their user to have to sit down on this slant route. That's gonna open up everything we wanna do on the backside. So what I like to do on the backside is actually, honestly, you can leave it the same. Um, if you don't like it the way it is, then you can run double hitches. I like to run double hitches. The other thing you could do is you can put an out route there or a flat route. Um, those are all little things that you could do with this concept to make it a lot of fun. Um, so this is just the first way that we're going to show this is with double hitches and with the slant quick snap concept and our first read on this play is always this post this post can be thrown um, basically as soon as he cuts to the inside as soon as you see that he has inside leverage you're going to see that he's going to basically be able to beat any defense in the game if they have a vertical zone on that safety so this is the most popular defense in the game this is the mike woods three i've got my vertical hooks are set to 10 my curl flats are set to um, 10, and then my uh, flat zones are set to 30. And so what's really cool about this route is these hitches are gonna hold these zones underneath, and as you can see, I'm gonna have a lot of room to be able to hit Mike Evans. Now, the next thing that you've got, and obviously, honestly, your first read, I would actually say, um, is indeed this quick slant. Like, if they're not user, so you're gonna look really to grass but basically, if there's no one in this kind of area of the field post snap, so let's say they run to the left side to take take care of some of the things that you can be doing on the left side. For example, like one little simple thing that you're going to be able to do is you could streak you could streak X, 
and run it like this if you wanted to. So that way you have a seam read. Um, this is a good way because this is like a middle third type thing. You're gonna see, uh, and he didn't he didn't do what I thought he was gonna do, but um, you're you're gonna you're gonna have a quick throw to the seam that you can hit. You, and there's again there's so many things we can do this play, but we're gonna start with just building off of this post route. And so really if their user kind of goes to the left side at the snap of the ball, this is why I like this play because if their user goes to the opposite side, then what we can do is just take our slant. You see that if there's not a yellow zone on the back side of this play, you're gonna be able to hit your slant every single time uh, without failure, okay? Now again, I'm saying that with also reminding you that if they're in a coverage defense, it's very likely that their user is going to sit over here. Okay. Now, what we, what we need to do offensively is make sure they can't defend two players with one zone. And so that's why I like these double hitches. You're going to see that this triangle receiver um, that tends to sit down really, really good in the zone coverage um, out of this. Let me show you this again. This is why I like this formation because I feel like. This spread formation, this specific five wide, gives me really, really, really good uh, spacing. And that's one of the things I really value. Now, if you want to keep the dig, you certainly can. Let me just show you the dig. You'll see the spacing is, is not as good, but it is still fine. Um, another thing that you can do is, you know, and again, we're going to start messing around with some of the adjustments you can do from this. But another thing that you can do that's really simple is you could, you know, do something like, we're going to use double hitches on this back side. And then on this other side here, we can create our own little concept. So that might look like something like that right there. So you're going to see that the hook curl is not going to be able to defend it. They're going to have to have a vertical hook on that side of the field. Again, I can't stress this enough, but another thing that I really like about this offense is the fact that if they're playing uh, cover three Mabel style coverage on this, this, um, this, safety on the right side if he's not in a hard flat I can throw that out route every time and so that's another little wrinkle that we can kind of put in this is a really good quick game okay now I want to talk about this play uh, also with man coverage and this is really why I like to have a slant because basically what's gonna happen in man-to-man -man coverage especially if you use double hitches you can lowball your hitches I don't want to say that you can't but your slant is really where you're gonna make your money against man to man. So obviously your opponent probably knows that. And so again, we have to think through like, where, are their, where is their opponent going to use her? Where is their opponent going to use her? Well, in this example here, it's very likely that he's gonna use her over in this area. So if we can force him to have to sit on the slant, then what's gonna happen is this post right on the cut is going to be wide open against man-to-man. -man. So that's why I love this play. There's so many ways that we're going to talk about how you could run this play. This is just one of them, and we're going to continue them and through the course of this scheme for you. We've obviously got a ton of other route setups and con concepts for you. This is just one of them. Um, another way we can run this play is we can put we can make this more of a deep shot. As you can see right here, we're basically this is like a Y cross type of setup. But what I love about this is you've got these nice little, um, you know, this nice flood concept on the right side. So anyways, we're going to get into more of this as we go through. But this is just inside switch, the first breakdown from the five wide receiver trips mini scheme. If you want to learn my full five wide receiver trip scheme altogether, I'm going to be releasing that in the text message membership. And if you haven't signed up for that, it's really a great resource, not just for Madden 21, but for Madden 22 as well. Every single week I release free offenses and free defenses to people who have joined my text message membership and it's completely free for you to join all you have to do is text the word madden to 208-218-6900 and if you're not interested in the exclusive videos that you get through the text message membership but you might have like a madden question or something that is my personal cell phone number so be sure to shoot me any questions that you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to join the text message membership, I put the details of how to do that down in the description of this video.